Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to be talking about Wakelet and uh, it's it's a platform which has been on for quite a large amount of time. It's an amazing platform. And what is Wakelet? It's a free um, to use platform that helps you and your learning community to save and organize resources, showcase work and collaborate on assignments, projects and plenty more things you can do with that. I, uh, us I use it myself um, nearly every day when you go on, on the internet and if you want to uh, to get some uh, some websites are bookmarked straight into some collections. It's it's amazing. Uh, it's even better if uh, if you have it in your browser uh, and if you have it also um, organized on your phone and stuff. But I'll show you. I'll show that to you later. Um, well, I'll show you now how to sign up for a free account and uh, and go through the motions and uh, and you'll see it's it's super easy to use and it's it's going to change the way that you're going to be using uh, the internet. Before we start signing up, you can see that you have obviously the possibility to log in, sign up here or sign up for free here. But you also you have the enter code. Enter code is if you don't have a Wakelet account, but you someone who's already got Wakelet wants to share something with you, or wants you to contribute to um, to their collection. You don't need to have an account. You can just enter the code that you're going to be given by that person and you can just contribute to their collections. So um Let's start by signing up for free. So just click on the button and you can see that you have a, a great amount of possibilities to sign up. So even with um, with Apple, Google, Microsoft, even Facebook, or you can even sign up with your email. Obviously, I already got an account, so I'm not going to take you through the motions, but uh, we're going to go and dive in straight in into this. OK, so here's the home page. Uh, you can see there's several things here, but mine is probably busier than the one that you may have if you're starting using Wakelet, obviously. Um, this is uh, the picture that I have. Obviously, I'm not a genius, but Wakelet is genius. Uh, collections, bookmarks, group collections. We can see that in a second. The collections, the number of collections I have. I've got quite a few here. Bookmarks, these are bookmarks that I can get uh, on the internet and which are, I haven't put into any collections. And group collections are some collections in which I am uh, sharing with some of the teachers and part of some uh, um, uh, spaces and things like that. I'll explain a bit more about spaces in a bit. Uh, you can see here you have search button. So the search button is if you want to um, to be looking on on, on some collections on, um, on Wakelet. So for example, say Spanish food and type in and I'm going to have some collections about Spanish food and things like that. Okay, so people have been putting things, been sharing publicly some collections. And uh, if I find anything interesting in this, I can have a look through. I can find some uh, some excellent stuff uh, all over Wakelet. And this is maybe my interest. So I'm looking for that. plenty of, uh, obviously, plenty of themes you can look for, whatever you're, you're working with. You could be looking for people also, if you know that certain people um, are uh, obviously not Spanish food, but certain people um, are um, uh, on uh, Wakelet and you're looking for them, you can, there's a way also to find them uh, through this people button. You can explore. So these are the popular on Wakelet. So you can have a look at the, the latest stuff and what's working very well. Some people have been sharing some super collections. You can have a look at quite a few here. Click on the little arrow to see a bit more. Classrooms, we'll see that in a bit. It's um, it's a way of creating uh, classrooms for um, for your forms, the forms that you have in school. Uh, I cleared up mine, and I'm going to create uh, all my new um, all my new classes uh, uh, soon. And back to home button. This is my profile. So I'm just sharing one collection with uh, with people at the moment. Uh, it's classic novels PDF for Kindle, which is very good. Um, very good way to uh, to uh, to learn languages is, is to read things in foreign languages and this is uh, a good way to get uh, free books with a Kindle if you have a Kindle. Um, this is notification and here are the three dots or the ellipsis you click on it and you can see your public profile which is exactly the same stuff there. The spaces that you have, so I created a few spaces, I explained spaces later on. Uh, what you have also your account settings and you can switch accounts if you obviously have several accounts you can get the app um, but uh, obviously we're not on an ipad so there's no need to be doing that at the moment okay and i'll tell you about the, ex the file extension that i have here i'll take i'll tell you about that in a few minutes
Okay, well now what well, the point of having Wakelet is uh, making creating collections and I think uh, uh, I'll show you very it's very straightforward to do that. A collection is a group of content from the web. Uh, you can arrange and organize them the way that you want and you can on your personal content create collections on absolutely any topic. So it cannot be any simple than that and you just have to create a new collection. So you click on that big green button. Okay, so uh, several layouts. It's nice now. It didn't used to be that way and it, it is going to be looking nice. So it depends how you want it to be looking. Kind of compact view, grid view, mood board, depending on what you want to do. Um, I quite like using the media view myself, but it's really up to you to decide whatever you fancy. We can have a play after to show what uh, things look like because obviously if you decide to do one, you can change the layout if you wish. So click on media view on this one and use layout. Okay, I can have a color image. So several possibilities, upload an image from your computer. You can use a GFI, which is quite fun if you wanted to, or can choose from the library. The library is massive and you have lots of things. Let's pick something from the library. It could be linked to the topic that you want to do something on, or it could be something random, something nice. Let's uh, pick this one, for example, as a cover image. Uh, it's very nice. You can either have a full cover image if you wanted to, it's up to you, or half cover. Usually I do half cover so it doesn't take the whole screen. Um, we're gonna call it demo because I'm um, not uh, particularly uh, want to be doing a special collection about something, but let's call it demo there. So what we can do now, you have several possibilities. You need to, or you, have, you can add several things. So you can add, paste any web address into it, and it's gonna work in there. Uh, you can add some text, you can add image, bookmarks, PDFs, and when you click on apps, this is really amazing. You can add tweets, if you're looking for some people on Twitter, uh, videos uh, with uh, the wonderful Flipgrid, YouTube videos, Google Drive, if you have things on the drive. Uh, if you use Google Drive, you can add some stuff there. OneDrive is exactly the same. If you use OneDrive, you can pop some stuff which is in your OneDrive back into this collection there. And uh, this is a brand new thing from Adobe Spark. So if you use Adobe Spark, uh, I use it at times. Uh, it's really good. You can uh, get some stuff from the collections from Adobe Spark. So let's have a play. Okay, so obviously if you would need to write a description for your collection, you're very welcome to do so. Just underneath here, can it be any more simple? Um, paste any web address, so I copied it, and now I'm gonna paste it. You can see it's gonna be appearing underneath, slightly self-centered, but this is uh, my website about uh, the competition, the elocution competition, or the poem recitation competition I created. So poesia yeah, is just there. Uh, and uh, a bit more coming up uh, in that respect in a few weeks' time, if uh, people are interested in this one. Um, you can add text if you wanted to. So uh, click on Add Text, and you can start writing anything that you want to do. So uh, a bit like a word processor, you can have it bold and italic and underline, and H1, H2 is the size of your, of your titles. And you can have some uh, bullet points also if you wanted to. Align center, align right, and you could also add a link uh, inside your writing if you wanted to. So this is just an example of a text added in my collection. Okay, and I can obviously use the bold. And if I want to link collection to a link, I can link it. As you can see, I paste my link. I'm gonna do it in Polesia, eh? and click on done. And you can see that it's coming up here and it's in green. And obviously one is gonna be live when you click on that collection bit on that link, it's gonna be a live link, nice and easy. Uh, image, click on that. You can upload an image from your computer if you wanted to, you can choose Jiffy. So it's a uh, new stuff also, Jiffy is quite fun. Uh, I quite like Jiffy's, everybody likes them. So um, how about a thank you one? And okay, how about this one? Just pop in there. And you have your Jiffy in your collection or you can add any more images if you wanted to, taken from uh, the massive library that they have. And let's look for um, croissants, why not? And uh, the first one I see is here. So I'll click on that one. 
and you have a beautiful photo of croissants with some almonds and stuff. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, you can add bookmarks too. So if I click on that, uh, these are the bookmarks that I may have picked up uh, already from the internet and I want to add some collections. Uh, I can upload PDFs if I wanted to, if I have some PDFs uh, in uh, uh, my computer. There you go, program completo. This is the first one also that I have here. So this is a, um, a, um, a program in which I'm part of. So there we go. And if I want to add some stuff like tweets and videos and YouTube, it's really, really straightforward to do. Uh, for tweets, for example, here, uh, I could be using either search for hashtag or, uh, or by username too. Okay, so if, for example, I am using, uh, let's look for hashtag. We're going to be looking for the MFL Twitter RT because it's um, a group which is obviously amazing on Twitter. And you can see all the latest things on MFL Twitter are going to be appearing here. Okay, there we go. If I'm looking for users, I could be looking for anyone that I know. Uh, so I'm going to be looking for, I'm going to be again very self-centered. I'm going to be looking for myself here. This way it makes things easier. And you can see that all the posts that I have put here or all the things I've been posting uh, are here and I can pick the ones that I want, the recently one there, and just can add them straight away into my collection. So again, if you go into the apps and go into video, Okay, you can see that. Uh, first of all, you can see my mug anyway. But <laughs> you can also see that it's nice and easy to uh, to sort out and you can use all the full functionalities of Flipgrid. So the new thing now is all these backdrops are amazing and you can make yourself as small as big as you want on this side and you can add the effects and different options and stuff. Um, if you're not familiar with Flipgrid, there's plenty to play with. Okay, so this is one of the nice things you can do. So you can do uh, an instructional videos. You can speak to the the pupils and tell them what they have to do if you create a lesson plan or something like that. So it's uh, it's it's good to give them instructions on an exercise or instructions or on something that you want them to do. So this is super useful to have access to, uh, to a video. So I'm going to be closing this. Okay, so um, now we'll try to go into YouTube and uh, be searching any anything on YouTube uh, like you would be doing there. And let's say I'm looking for uh, Tilt webinars. And for example, and there we go, we've got stuff on all the Tilt webinars which are been on with uh, Joe Dale and Helen Myers, been super useful to the MFL Twitterity for example. You could be looking for absolutely anything obviously which you can find on YouTube and you probably will find it and you can it, uh, add it there. So let's say I want to add this one, I can add that video, there we go, uh, Botones Salgado. Uh, Fantastic. And look at that. I'm here. Oh, amazing stuff. Um, you can also get some stuff from your Google Drive if you have access to it. Um, just have to sign in with Google and sign it there. And all the stuff so you need to allow it. There we go. I can just select the files and all the things I need to be what I want to put into your stuff. And you can just select it and add it. And you can do exactly the same with OneDrive, which is gonna ask you again if you have the permission for Workload to have access to it. And once it's there, it should be hopefully working. There you go, this is my OneDrive and I have plenty of things you can put in there. So if I wanted to add Les Etrangers, for example, uh, the book, uh, I can open it. I can add it there, or the document, the Word document that I have in there. And furthermore, Adobe Spark. So if you use Adobe Spark, it's exactly the same. If you've got some collections there, you just need to log in and uh, you can have access to the collections that you may have with uh, Adobe Spark. Okay, as you can see that it's this collection is set to be private. So you have possibilities to make it unlisted and people with the link can see the collection. Or you want to make it public. Uh, like I've done the one with um, uh, the a Kindle 
uh, when I'm sharing some stuff with the rest of the people, some collections. So you're welcome to put it public. Usually myself, I don't share that many collections at the moment. I make them unlisted. So if I want to share with mem people that I, I trust or uh, some members of staff, something else, so I usually make them unlisted. One little more thing that you can do here is if you click on the little cog on the left hand side here, you can uh, add a background image also in the back of your collection to make it be more pleasant if you wanted to. It's the same process. You can upload an image or choose from the library and you can put some stuff in the background. Let's say I want this one here and I'm going to have an image just there in the background. Again, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. It's up to you. It's uh, that's the way uh, you can make it. Uh, Sharing, if you want this, if you uh, sharing this collection, if you put it as a public, you can make sure that people could be um, uh, making a copy of it. If uh, if it, it is a template, for example, if you're sharing something with people, so you can click on this little uh, button there, and uh, so people can edit this collection, and make a copy of it, and, and edit it their way. If you're collaborating, uh, you give uh, hundred percent access to the contributors. Uh, to edit the items, they can uh, delete thing. Uh, I would, I'm not, I don't do that normally. If I collaborate, I just I don't give them the power to to edit. I, I like to keep myself um, the right to uh, to keep the stuff in. So, and you can also delete the collection if you want to do that. Okay, so different options here are on the left hand side. When you've done that, you click on done, and you can have a look at your collections. As you can see, obviously, it's uh, it's a bit of a mixed bag here. But a bit of a bit of everything with pictures and and some uh, GFs and some links and stuff like that. It gives you a good idea. And some, obviously, text here with a link. You can see the link is live now. Um, so a bit of a mixed bag of different things, but just to show you the different possibilities uh, of uh, Wakelet and the collections. A few more things about the interface. Uh, when you're visiting uh, someone's collection, if you like them, you just can put thumbs up, you have a little uh, things that you can put there. So it's it's kind of newish type of thing. Uh, we have the ellipses. Again, analytics can be, um, you can have a look at them if you are sharing a collection with some people and you want to see how you're doing and how many people are visiting your collection. Copy collection, move collection, um, nice and easy things to do. You can change the visibility if you want to, uh, to make it semi-private or something or if you want to make it public, export PDF or just so that or you can even delete the collection, okay? Um, if I wanted to change some stuff uh, on my collection, just need to click on the green button and edit. Uh, add more things if I wanted to, or I could, I'll could. i show you something about moving things around in a sec. But if you wanted to change the layout, uh, at the moment we are on the media view. If you want to see the compact view, uh, it should just be like this, as you can see, I don't see the images and stuff as much as you were before. Uh, you can set the grid view that way. Depending on what you're presenting, it's really up to you how things work. And you also have the mood board, which is quite a nice one too, if you want to make sure the collection is, is, is if everything is seen under one uh, main space, mostly. Uh, I quite like the media view. Uh, if I'm not happy with um, um, the position of certain items, you can see when I go over it, you have uh, these little arrows appearing and you can see that I can go either move to top, move to the bottom, if he wants to, for me to appear, and you can move down or move up, okay? So this is already at the top. So if I want to move this onto the very bottom, I can easily do that if you wanted to. Yeah, there we go. It's gone to the bottom and this one becomes first. Okay, so nice and just go back and check and look at the this étranger is now there. I can put it back to the top if I need to. Nice. You can also swap them over uh, manually. So you just move one and you can put them underneath and things like that. So there's plenty of possibilities. It's quite flexible uh, if you needed to move items. Obviously erase them if you wanted to or you cannot obviously edit a tweet, but if you need to uh, edit some text or edit a PDF, it's very easily done. Just click on the button and you can change the image if you needed to, give it a title. You can even change the name of PDF so you know exactly what you're talking about. 
Okay, so I have now a wonderful collection and I want to share it with uh, some people, which makes a lot of sense. So I am going to be clicking on that arrow here and I can share it collection with people. So there are several ways to share it. You can use uh, a QR code. So um, I think it's a little glitch at the moment where you cannot increase the size of it. They're working on it. So there's a little problem with that at the moment, but it, it's, it works perfectly. You can take a screenshot of this and put it in a presentation or something, it's quite useful. Uh, you can join Google Classroom. Uh, you have Teams, obviously. Uh, both things are Twitter. This is to call attention to a, to a set of things and to give feedback. Um, there's uh, Remind and Reddit and Facebook. Uh, so you can share it in many, many, many ways. Um, so it's really up to you and the, the way it works, whatever works for you. You can explore this PDF. I really like this option here because you can have a, uh, a written, uh, uh, well, uh, an actual copy of, uh, of your collection uh, on paper if you wish. So uh, we just do a demo and um, it, it usually does come up very quickly. There's not so many things in the collection. So hopefully it's not gonna be taking 60 seconds and uh, we can download the PDF and open it. There we go. It's quite a nice uh, look to it. And on top of that, also all links are workable. So if I click on this, I'm gonna be opening my YouTube. Same thing here. Uh, I can still open my PDF if needed. So I've got it there like that. Uh, obviously my GIF is not working sadly. And if I click on the link here, I'll be able to go on the other collection, okay? So it's it's good to have one of these. You can also embed it. So if you have a website, for example, um, uh, you can get the codes from there. Uh, I have done that into my website uh, for uh, Poesia. And uh, as you can see here, uh, I've uh, I had all the, the collections of the poems uh, into in Wakelet, and I just needed to put a code into the website when uh, uh, I did that, and it was really straightforward to do. Just click on embed, and you can change all sorts of settings and height and so on. So it, technically, you just have to copy embed code and put it into uh, the coding of your website. It's usually pretty straightforward. Uh, not super complicated to do and it just appears uh, into your website by just by pure magic so it, it's really a nice thing to be able to do to share these collections in many many other ways okay i shared my collection but there's also i can invite people to actually add things to my collections so uh, i just click on invite and you have I see here three possibilities uh, so i can either copy the link and send it by email to someone. I can copy the QR code or I can copy the code here and give it to some people uh, on WhatsApp, for example, something like that, and they can access to it. So when they're gonna be arriving in the wakelet, uh, like I showed you at the beginning, um, they just put the code in and get in straight away. So three possibilities. Um, and you don't need to have uh, a Wakelet account to actually contribute to it, so it, which is fantastic. Um, here, as for me, a bit of admin, uh, I can uh, I can see if I've got some people I've been working with in the past, or I can check the usernames and emails of people I've been working before. You have them here, or I can also manage the contributors. Um, so at the beginning, uh, obviously it's only me; I'm the owner. Uh, if some of the people are contributing, it's fine. Maybe uh, I don't want to work with these people anymore. They'll be posting some stuff which is uh, not to my liking. So by being here, I will be able to get rid of these people uh, and uh, it's, it's easier for me. Or if I'm not working with them anymore and I don't think the stuff is uh, corresponding to what I want, I can also take it because I am the owner. I can do all these things. And because I haven't changed uh, that setting at the beginning that we saw already in this area here, so I probably have to go to edit, uh, if collaboration, because I kept this one here, uh, uh, I'm not using it. These people cannot actually, the contributors cannot edit uh, the stuff which has been put by other people or by me or cannot delete anything but their own things. Okay, so nice and simple and it's good to keep, to keep control of what's happening in your collection. Okay, so I'm back on the main page here and uh, I just want to show you how to create classrooms. Obviously, the pupils uh, need to have accounts 
uh, or don't need to, but in fact they should have accounts anyway. So when you're a teacher, you can have uh, the pupils uh, can actually uh, collect things and create collections and and do some work all together and things like that. So it'd be great if they have accounts. But to make things easier, Wakelet I created a, a very quick way to do that. So if you go into classrooms and you can import groups, which makes your life so much easier. And uh, you can got Google Classroom, uh, Microsoft and Clever. Uh, ourselves in our school, we are working with uh, Microsoft, so it's much easier. Sign with Microsoft with my email address. It's going to be linking with uh, all the teams I've created. I've got quite a few of them. And this is just a demo group there. So this way I don't have to show any pupils uh, account. And it's going to be importing. It can take a little bit of time to import uh, some groups and things like that, especially being created. I've got one here and it takes a bit of time to sync. So my group here should be appearing anytime soon. But once you're in, uh, it makes your life much, much easier, much easier for them to have access. And you have some good admin rights also and to see your, their work and things like that. Okay, so um, now it just appeared. I've got my demo account. Again, it, it could be taking a bit of time for things to sink in. But once it's in, it's great. I'll demo. And this is my email, so JN test. So when I click on, I'll have several pupils. The other one, obviously, is just me here. I just click on it. And I can see the collections are done, or if they have any bookmarks or any group collection. What's interesting is just to see what uh, the people will see when they're going to be signing up. So um, again, if you're part of a Google group or Microsoft, you they just need to be signing up directly with um, with the email address at the school they use. So just going to sign up, and they're going to be going to Microsoft or Google. Uh, this is my address, Gen test on this one. And there we go. So as you can see, it's part of the team demo. Okay, so if it was the name of the class, it would be there. Obviously, there's nothing there at the moment. Uh, there's no um, collections of bookmarks on that. But this is what they will see the first time they're going to get into it. They see that they're part of the class or here, part of the team demo. Okay, so nice and simple things for them to see and to start up. And obviously, you can join the space. I'll tell you about space in a second. Okay, so I'm now going to create a space. As you can see, the spaces are usually shown on the left hand side here, or you can make them bigger on this side here if you wanted to. Okay. So um, I'm going to create a, uh, a space, but you're going to ask me, what is a space? A space is a separate area in your account where you can invite people to collaborate and create their own collections. So it's perfect for teams and groups, uh, departments, classrooms and things like that. So when you actually create a class, you actually, you actually create a space for the people. Um, let's do that. It's really straightforward. So I'll click on create or join a space. Uh, if I was in my space and was given a code, I could put a code in and join in straight away. But let's go through the motions and create a space first of all. So I can click on this first of all and get uh, an image to make it looking a bit more prettier. Let's pick a uh, something like a lovely lion there. It's taking good, looking good. I can make it bigger if I wanted to. Uh, it's up to you. Sometimes the photos, the design doesn't work very well. so. It's up to you. Now I'm going to have that. Um, I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it YouTube demo. And I can create my space. Right. Now I've done. I've got my YouTube demo here. Um, I'm in the space, but you can see it's also here on the left hand side at the bottom. Um, I, You can see that at the moment there's no collection. I can create any collections if I want to. There's no, There are no bookmarks, but there's only one member. So if I click on it, well, uh, yeah, I'm the only member. I'm the owner. You can see you can see the difference. I'm the owner, the person creating that. If I go into the settings, um, I can change uh, the picture if I want to. I can change the name uh, if I wanted to. I can make it a public uh, publish as a profile also. Uh, that's a possibility. I can also delete the space, which is also quite straightforward. But they ask you uh, an important question. Well, they really ask you twice if you really want to 
to erase everything so you have to copy and paste the name so you don't, we don't want to do that um so what we're going to be trained to do is i'm going to go back into space uh, into collection if you wants to and we want to invite people uh invite members so click on invite member Two possibilities. If the people uh, are not uh, Wakelet people, you can copy the link and send that to them by email, or you can just send them a code if they have a Wakelet account. So let's uh, do this. Uh, if it's a bit too long, they can also renew the link and code if you needed to. Um, well, I've got my code here. I'm going to copy the code and I'm going to log in as someone else. I'm going to be logging as, as someone else. Uh, but you have to be careful here because it tells you enter code. Be careful because here it's only entering code for a collection, not for a space. Okay, so if you enter the code of collection, you don't need to have an account and you can get in with that code and you can contribute to that collection. Whereas here we're trained to get into a space. So I'm going to be logging in again via uh, Microsoft or whatever works uh, for you. I'm going to be GN test here. Okay, and uh, group collection, you can see at the moment I've got nothing, but you can see that I've got a little D for demo, which is the name of my team. So you can see the team I belong to or the classroom be, uh, will be seen straight away here on top left. So I'm part of that, that's my class. But now if I want to be part of a, another space, so if I want to create a space, if I want to be part of a space, I need to click on join space. So enter the space code if you want, I've got it. So I've got my code, which was there, I just join it. And there we go, okay, now you can see I'm part of the YouTube demo and you go into members, you can see that Geno MFL is the owner and GN Test is a contributor. So only uh, uh, Geno MFL has got some admin rights here. The only thing I, I can do as GN Test if I want to is just leave the space. I cannot erase anything. I could put some collections in there, but I cannot do any other thing. Um, just a brief examples of the things that I do, uh, for example, on Wakelet in terms of lessons, obviously. Um, this is a something, a little project we had with uh, Les Pays Francophones, and there you have access to, um, to a website with some videos, and after that I wanted them to be working on, uh, on and answer some some questions so they had a collection themselves that they copied and then managed to um, to answer the questions with some uh, beautiful collections there that was one of them um what I've done also is uh this is a um, based on uh, Simona Gravina uh, session uh, Spanish uh, sentence builder on the pandemic that I've been using as an example for quite a while on, uh, on the internet and uh, my uh, different webinars, uh, the things that we can do with uh, the Mars ears uh, session of uh, uh, Gianfranco Conti's uh, method, the EPI. So for example, and here I've got my sentence builder uh, that I can have, I can put here, for example, that I translated of uh, Simona and obviously you can have access to different things these days to create all these sentence builders and the sentencebuilders.com it does a fabulous job uh, and access to quizlet activities and different games uh, based on Gianfranco's book so Jeu de l'Escalade and all sorts after you have some listening activities and break the flow and uh, pyramid and uh, and the phrase en mêlée and and plenty of other things like that and so you, you can have an array of activities all set up in uh, in Wakelet if you wanted to. Plenty of opportunities. And here also, I had some children during the holidays who wanted to do some work. That happens. They were doing some scholarships. And this is a perfect opportunity for me to put all the exercises they could have been working on. So on Teddy, for example, here, there's something on the 20 keys. It had a verb booklet, PDF. Uh, there were some mind maps and there were lots of different things and exercises and stuff and I could keep up with all the things they could be doing so that was um, that was a perfect thing for for me to to exchange work just send that through a, a way clat uh, it it was an excellent opportunity and obviously you can do many many more things you know it's uh, uh, it's up to imagination I'm gonna do a bit more self-promoting uh, very quickly here and show you something which is 
pretty amazing on Wakelet is the use of immersive reader. So here last year when we did the, uh, the poetry competition, the poems were set and uh, let's pick a German one, for example, and you had access to the poems here and for all the schools needed to do well then have access to uh, to all these poems year seven year eight and so on and so forth so what you notice is that little symbol here which is immersive reader and immersive reader is a fabulous tool for uh, people with learning difficulties people who've got difficulties in reading and stuff and it's also brilliant for language learning here it will definitely help out the learners the pupils to be pronouncing the poem the best they can so they can keep working on it so i'll just show you a quick demo of how it works if you don't know immersive reader so I'll just click on it it's going to be taking me to another page and here on my poem you can see it's blown up a little bit it's much bigger writing there are several possibilities i'm not going to be going through all the all of that I, I will i'll be doing that in another video but um if I click on the button here, play, actually what I can do first of all, voice setting very quickly. You can have it as quick or as slow as you wish. Usually I put it on 0.75. You can change between female and male voice. I'll leave it on female for now. I'm going to click on play and it's going to be reading it very nicely into German. Vergnügungen. Bertolt Brecht, der erste Blick aus dem Fenster am Morgen, das wiedergefundene alte Buch begeisterte Gesichter Schnee. Okay, so you see that it's got obviously a, a, an excellent German accent. Let's have a play with the Spanish one this time around. Uh, again, I went into my poem and I'm going to go into the immersive reader. And uh, I am, will be uh, changing the voice. I'm going to put a male voice this time around and I'll put a 0 0.75. I think it's better. You can make it much, much faster, much slower. I think 0 0.75 is, is not bad at all. Um, and let's have a listen. Qué grande era todo cuando yo era chico. Por Douglas Wright, qué grande era todo cuando yo era chico. La silla, la mesa, la puerta, la cama. Que... Okay, you can see that's got an excellent accent. There's plenty of options you can uh, you can use, and but I will discuss this into another uh, video. Immersive it is everywhere, and it's very convenient, and it's especially great for language learning. And finally, uh, I'm going to go and speak about the Wakelet browser extension. So you have um, three possibilities. You can get it for uh, Firefox, Chrome or Edge. OK, uh, depends whatever you're using. Uh, at the moment, I'm using uh, Chrome, but I use um, also Edge quite a bit. Um, you download it and after you're going to have a little W just appearing on the side and I'll show you how it works. Now I've got that browser here uh, in my bar and how do I use it? It's super, super straightforward. Let's say I bumped into a website, TeachFit for example here, and I don't have to do anything, just click on my W here and it's going to take me straight away into my Wakelet. So obviously I've got to be logged in but it's got, because it's logged in all the time and it's going to ask me where do you want to keep it? And let's say I want to keep it in my uh, reading CPD for example because I need to, to have a look into it. So I can save into it. You can save it as uh, everywhere. You can save it as a bookmark if you want. Didn't want to be saving it as uh, into a collection. Okay, I've got the language in here. Another good website too. Click on um, uh, Wakelet again. Again, same thing. I'm gonna. It's gonna be leading me there. I can put it in a space if I wanted to. I can put it in a group collection. Or I can save it as a bookmark. Uh, this one is gonna save as a bookmark too. And finally, sentence builders. You can see there, and that's another good website. So I'm going to be going onto the W here, click on that, and this time I'm going to put it into a collection. Uh, and let's say I want to put it into reading CPD. You can see I've got uh, a little padlock next to it. Um, and just save it in there. And afterwards, obviously, when you're going to go back into your corrections, you're going to find it there. If you are a um, Twitter user also, you will see uh, that at the bottom of each of these little tweets from people, you have a little W and that is amazing too. So just click on the W there. If you're really interested, uh, Chris has been publishing something about a LinguaScope webinar. It's always very good 
very good webinars than I do on there on Tuesdays. So all I need to do is, I, where am I going to put it? Oh, I'm going to save it as a bookmark this time around, not put it into collection. Save as a bookmark. Done. Okay, and now if I go back into my Wakelet, I'm back here. And just back to my normal page. I go into the bookmark, for example, here. And look at that. I've got language gyms there, here, and I've got teach fit here. Let's uh, have a look at uh, language gyms. You just need to click on it. And I'm back onto the website without doing anything. Uh, it's very straightforward too. I can, once I've got my bookmarks and things like that, I can delete it if you don't want it. I can edit it and change things on it. I can share the bookmark with people and I can add to another collection. You will see I can select it. So plenty of opportunities to move around and to change things again. And um, in this one here, if I go into my reading CPD with only 157 items, um, I've got uh, sentence builders there. And again, uh, it's save item. I can put it into read mode if I want to have a quick look at it. Obviously not very much I can do with it, but if I, it is going to lead me straight away into the page afterwards. Okay, so super, super useful to have that. It's so quick uh, to put into your collections or bookmark. Uh, it's very useful to have it. Um, it also works on your phone. So uh, if you're on the go and you bump into something very exciting, you can also put the stuff onto your phone too. It's very good. I hope this has been useful. Um, and you learn quite a few things on the, on the fantastic wakelet. Uh, feel free to uh, to surf through um, uh, the bookmarks to see or go back to the sections that you didn't find easy or did you need to see again. And uh, if you like the video, well, don't hesitate to follow me.